to defend the truth. And my die, the die of my destiny is already cast. This is the path I will follow till my dying day. The Bible says, when oh, men slept, an enemy came. But the enemies will not come on my watch because I am not about to sleep. Jesus died, and among many of his by the byproducts or the impacts of his sacrifice is that you may be anointed. You're asking the Lord to unlock the fellowship of the anointing. The believer is no longer natural. And we want to begin to work in that dimension that Jesus died to bring us into. It doesn't matter if you are starting as a bricklayer, like Joseph. And sure, nobody tampers with your dream. Hide it. Hide the dream where depression will not get to. Hide the dream where circumstances will not touch. I mean, hide it. Put it somewhere where your afflictions cannot touch. Your dream needs to be intact if you win. those questions that that's a whole lot of work for one night but this is how i'm going to approach it let me read from scriptures luke chapter one let me have that up um verse 34 so that we don't spend a lot of time luke 134 then mary said unto the angel how shall this be Seeing I know not a man. Now, I want to leave this question in your heart. Why did Mary inquire of the angel? If you can answer why Mary inquired of the angel, many of this long list of questions will be answered because Mary was instructing the use of a protocol what is the protocol the vehicle of communication or the vehicle of information is should i use the word vehicle the agency of information is also the agency of interpretation so for example the first person said he perceives and and that's a word that we really need to work because perception is non-cognitive communication the major cognitive communication um, um, capsules are sight and hearing so perception has to do, it could be an inspired thought one that does not many times come with the confirmation that it is God, it is not God. What the other person said becomes more clearer. The person said, I feel. So, um, what the first person called perception could actually be a feeling. Because that mode of communication is non-cognitive it means you can't really say this is what it is non-cognitive communications are invitations to engagement onto cognitive communication the word cognitive is not a mystical word that's the root word for your word recognize are you with me it comes with the ability to be able to differentiate in clear terms between two things this is spoon this is a knife so if you perceive that god is calling you to do a work you really don't have any concrete things to be able to show in the day that you are queried and i'm saying that because you did not show up in the earth as an isolated individual so because you were born into a community you have a responsibility to humans to be able to sit your family down whether they understand or not notwithstanding to say this is what the lord is calling me to do and if they ask you questions you should be able to come up with strong reasons as to why that is god's direction for your life the average person does not have them 
and some of the battles i must say that come up with family with siblings and all of that has to do with the fact that the person who is saying god is sending me to do a work is not even sure so once you perceive that way you should go back to god if it is god that spoke to you then it is god that will interpret that's what daniel also did god reveals something and it comes to us as a mystery he's the one that will interpret it is somebody with me it is in the quest for more communication that all these details come what will be the name of the ministry where will the ministry be what will the ministry do how would we gather people there may be trending processes but you see so that the man who is sent by god does the work of god god's way everything you do must be sourced from god and in case god opens your heart to learn from other people must be confirmed for you as god's way for you to do what he wants you to do i'll give you maybe in three four minutes a brief background of how i entered ministry i was minding my business in ss2 thereabout i finished secondary school in nesto college Oyo, and um, i had a prayer life i operated the gift of healing like better than now now i'm quite cerebral that time i just knew lay hands on the sick and you might be sick for five days in a space of five minutes you were good enough to play football that was me by mercy i operated very high level intelligence I, i'm not sure if there were 10 people who were better than me in school and that's a very large number and i was into sports i was into music i was preaching i was teaching even as a student but one of those nights in my prayer time the lord said to me i want to show you the future in ss2 and i said it's fine because i felt i was going to be a medical doctor like my son is also saying doctor now well god will show two of us mercy you know, you know i wanted to be a medical doctor i had chosen an area of specialization that i was going to specialize in in um in genetics I wanted to be i wanted to master an aspect of surgery where we can re-engineer genes my focus was people with as with sc with ss and then re re restructure their genes so that they can live a normal life that was my body something that god in these few years has still allowed me to do in a little way but not by that kind of engineering words have rearranged things for people so i asked the lord how what will i do so that i can tell me the future because i was raised to know that god has ways not just acts and then he pointed at the fish pond area in our school very strange place to be in the night he said meet me there 12 to 3 a.m every night and after a while i will show you I was not the average student that went home for break because we had to go for national competitions. I represented the state on many grounds. So we had to remain in school and keep learning. And so that my prayer was in was nine months and five or six days. Can't remember well now. Coming there every night to pray. And like I've shared, the only time I got to know that God was still involved in that prayer was the night. The prayer point was about witchcraft and never that time decided to take off the light and i felt that was the witches that were after me and one of the most notorious young men on our campus that time brought me a rechargeable lamp and dropped it and walked away when i met him in the morning i said why did you come he said god said to me that you are afraid and i should drop you lamb so that you can keep praying so that was my proof that after five months god was in the prayer there's no other communication but after nine months yes in about five days as i was walking back a few minutes past 3 a.m i was now in ss3 the lord said to me don't come tomorrow that was about june 8th 
the year 2000 i was 17 years going to 18 and i felt it was satan i had stopped praying about the future anything that came to my heart became a prayer point i had just loved three hours prayer as a secondary school student every night the protocol was to sleep at 11 wake up at a few minutes to 12 and then go to pray and come back and sleep even during our final exams i was still running the protocol but that night i slept at 11 and i woke up at about 5 a.m and i had a dream and i was caught up into heaven and i was brought into a vision of seven earth days and each of those days i was taught a particular aspect of the church from doctrine how to discern enemy activity how to bring a balance to worship to prayer literally two things that entered my heart as measuring systems and on the final day which was a sunday i'm rounding up now i had the vision of a sunday service very large church but empty church and so i queried the lord why did he come to church and he said that's how i look that's what i see on sundays filled up churches or empty churches for the father seeketh such as will worship him in spirit and in truth it means the lenses with which god views service is a true worshiper all of a sudden i saw a being human looking coming with two ladies with him and about 30 small children the reason why i reacted to dances last year was because the dances i saw in that vision in 2020 have now arrived in 20 hundred that's year 2000 have now arrived in church and so my reaction was because i never knew that that day will come and i saw what those things did because they enshrined another civilization in the church i was given a small bowl like a bowl of ice of um sugar cubes very white and glistening and i was throwing them at the children and the children were falling down dying falling down dying three on the two women as i was to throw the last one on that being who i identif identified as satan the lord said to me my church will rest where there is no contention hold back so i held back that grain and i saw satan in that dream wake up those two women and wake up all those two all those children and they began to rejoice and then he looked at me he said go back and teach my church the patterns of true worship raise me and then time am it was from that dream in 20 in 2000 that i knew that what he wanted me to build was a center of his worship that's where the name came from and so when you see us labor brutally in prayer because when i began to seek him afterward he gave me three tools for ministry he said pray with intensity teach with deep revelation and worship sincerely now drama unit is good and i'm sure some of you love drama right some of you are, can even act the reason why we don't have a drama group is that it was not given to me as a tool some of you can dance you can break dance you can somersault or split i love it too i like to watch it but we can't have a dance group because it's not captured as a tool for the vision if your perception is confirmed to have been communicated by god then you will need to go back to god the name of the ministry the logo of the ministry the location of the ministry where's pastor Lamde? there was a time that we had issues with membership when we got to 40 because seemingly we were stagnated for a long time and we had a vice president that time i think benga is now is he in nigeria or abroad he's abroad we were all winners members and so the winner's way of getting members to church is what you print flyers you go out and evangelize 
and I invite them to church. So I remember Gwenga saying to me that um, we should use that means. And I said to Gwenga, that way is what God showed Papa Bishop Oyedepo. If God does not tell us that that is the way, we won't use it. So my question is, how many of you got flyers to come here? Ah, so you didn't get our flyers. Okay, the reason why you didn't get our flyers is that God did not authorize us to do it. The reason why you see e flyers online is basically to help you build prayerful expectation towards the subject of Sunday or the discussion of that meeting. It's, they are not basically invites to make you know, oh, on Sunday, what we are studying are the four horns of Zachariah. And if you look at our earlier topics, they were very, very mystical. The four horns of Zachariah, the four horses of Joel, those kind of things. So it was to make people long to be there. So they will pray, they will do all of that. Your answers are with God. Even the management of opposition is with God. How do I handle my family is a question that the Holy Ghost can answer. So the minister's foundational confidant is the Holy Ghost. And your confusion will be as strong to the degree of the non-usage of the privilege of that confidant. You ask him questions all the way, all the way. When I left church this morning, I joined a pastoral um, training class in um, the Covenant Nation. And out of that class, three speakers, I've listened to, to two fully. I've not listened to one. I've been able to prayerfully. My wife saw me sitting down, prayerfully explaining some things to her, drawing how my lessons from there will receive inspiration from god for how to rework what i'm doing now if god gives me grace to do everything that i wrote today this whole work will be revolutionized in three months totally in three months and that's what i'm trusting god for that's why i want that workers meeting next week they still are under class tomorrow morning I've just received a book this evening about 361 pages and I want to begin to read like a manual for the future that I now see for the work. Sometimes he will give you direct answers. At other times he will send people to you. But if God calls you indeed, he will tell you what to do. Ministry, let me close on that, is not designed to be a work in copying if the call is original then the terms of reference must also be original except god says go to that person and learn and if he sends you on that errand it will still be original is somebody with me all right um i would also want to request that this young man especially the one who's trusting the lord to start a work in igboho or your state should please um, send me a mail so that as the Lord will give us the privilege if he perceives that we are to offer some kind of oversight we trust the Lord to hold his hand and see the kingdom established there. I have a burden for Kyogo and if that is coming I think that's light for me so please make direct contact my email address is toluaboolaofficial at gmail.com toluaboolaofficial at gmail.com so the media team can help to put that online um if you are not this guy i'll not read your mail <laughs> so please only this brother she send me a mail all right so thank you so much sir but while you spoke one thing stuck with me and it is the fact that the reason we don't do dance and drama is not because you don't like them so i, I think it's, it's expedient that we understand so it's actually not about what we like or what we don't like it's simply because it's not instructed so papa clearly stated i like them i like to watch them 
but it is not instructed. God bless us in Jesus' name. All right, so 